gorgeous? It's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going over, trying on, giving first impressions of my July BoxyCharm by Ipsy. If you're not familiar with BoxyCharm by Ipsy, it's a subscription box. I get it every month. It's about $30. You have five items in your box. I like that they're full size. You have two products chosen for you. The other three you get to choose from a selection. You fill out a quiz so that they know your skin type and your preferences, and generally, I enjoy it a lot. So let's go ahead and unbox this. The first thing in my box is the Tula Skin Care Radiant Skin Brightening Serum Skin Tint SPF 30 in 09 Light Medium Warm. Retails for $42. Billable light to medium coverage. It's packed with skin loving ingredients. By the way, the only thing on my face right now is a little bit of brow pencil and of course my skincare. I will list and link everything in the description box below, including information about BoxyCharm, any other products that I put on my face. Some are affiliate links, so if you use them, I get a small commission and I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Here is what the skin tint looks like, and I think I'm going to use my fingers. I'm going to put about this much. Obviously I have some stuff to cover. Feels very moisturizing, a little on the oily side. Not necessarily my taste. Let me see if I can build it up a little bit. I have oily skin. feels a little thick and oily on me, a little sticky. I would say light coverage, no coverage. I'll put a little concealer on my spot, my under eyes, be right back. I'm back, a little bit of concealing done, no powder. I'm super excited because the next item in my box is this one here from Danessa Myricks. This is her Evolution Powder in Pink. Retails for $25. Revolutionary Microfine Translucent Pink Powder is designed for the highest definition in TV, film, and flash photography. It has surface refining properties, minimizes the appearance of fine lines and texture while providing a matte finish that lasts all day. Yes, please. I have a lot of Danessa Myricks products that I enjoy. This is what the packaging looks like. It's pink on the bottom. It's got a little tab here. Looks like a little <laughs> mesh part. And I'm going to take my Morphe A22 and I'm gonna start, woo, woo. Just tapping off the excess. Now I'll try it with a puff, tapping off the excess on my hand. Makes that skin tint look so much better. Liking it a lot. And I'm just doing the T-zone and a little bit of my pore area because it's really nice and blurring. Ooh, brightening, smoothing. The next item in my box is this Well Put Eye Primer. Retails for $24. Elevate your eye game with this luxurious rose-infused eye primer. Glides effortlessly onto your lids, creating an even base for a crease-free eyeshadow coverage that's more vibrant and longer lasting. I use an eye primer every single day. This looks very familiar. I feel like I may have had this before. I'll have to uh, have editing Jen look. This is what it looks like. I'll go ahead and use, I think that's enough for both eyes quite honestly. Doesn't provide coverage. Maybe a teensy bit more. But it feels silky smooth. Hopefully it dries down. So I don't typically powder my eyeshadow primer. Okay, not exciting. 
but useful if it works. Next we have this multitasking cream to powder trio in Meet the Pinks from Laura Geller. Retails for $32. A multitasking palette that contains three gorgeous shades, a matte pink, a matte peach, and a champagne shimmer to help you create a monochromatic look in as easy as one, two, three. Silky smooth, transformative texture, feels like a cream for effortless blending and applies like a powder for a long lasting color payoff. Let's check it out. Very nice, sleek packaging. I love black and gold. It's got a plastic cover on it that I'm assuming does not stay. And this is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and swatch it. They feel very creamy. The highlight feels a little more powdery. So we've got this one, then this one, then this one. The shimmer's pretty. I'm going to use it for my eyes and my cheeks today. I went ahead and added a teensy bit of cream bronzer. Now I'll go in to this palette and I think I'll use this brighter color for my blush and then maybe I'll put this on my eyes. Now I typically, when I use highlight, I put the highlight on first and then the blush. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Right here, that's pretty. Delicate, nice champagne. I like to switch between the application finger and then a clean finger to blend. Yes, that's nice. Now I'll go into this brighter pink. I like that the pan size is not too small for my brush. This is the e.l.f. liquid blush brush that I love. Here's the pigment, just in case it's a lot. Doesn't look like a lot, so I'm gonna go in again and just, ooh. I'm liking this. Seems blurring easy to blend. I like the shade more than I thought I would. All right. Now I'm going to go into this more mauve shade with a Beauty For Real contour brush. And I'm just going to put this in my crease and then I'll take a little bit of the shimmer and put it on my lid. Easy peasy. definitely feels creamy. We'll see how it dries. <laughs> it's funny, I'm tapping off my brush. I'm just so used to using powders. Again, no issues with blending. Take a little bit underneath. Just tapped again. <laughs> Nice. Let's put that shimmer on the lid. Pretty. Very low maintenance. You look put together with minimal effort. I think that's the goal of this palette. I'm back. I added some mascara and brow gel and now for the last product. We have the Give Them La La Matte and Moisture Lip Wand in Nude 04 Birthday Suit. Retails for $22. It is a two-in-one lip wand that beauty dreams are made of. Features a nude velvety matte liquid lip on one end for bold lasting color and a nourishing lip oil on the other. That means you achieve gorgeous color and shine while making sure your bout stays moisturized and supple all day long. This is one of those that you put on, you wait, it says here, three to five minutes for it to dry down, then you top it with the lip oil. This is what it looks like. I'm liking that color. A little warm for my eye and cheek. Oh, it looks pretty neutral. All right, I'm excited. Let me go ahead and put this on. Here's what it looks like without a lip liner. I can feel it being sticky, so let me go ahead and add lip liner and I'll wait three to five minutes. It's been four minutes. I added a lip liner and I used my fan to dry it. And I'll tell you right now, I don't love the texture. 
the wand did not feel super luxurious going over my lips, number one. Number two, your lips really stick together and I made sure I kept it thin. I'll go ahead and add the gloss and we'll see what it feels like then. First, I wanna to check to see if it's transferring. No, not transferring at all. Very thin, definitely better. But does it break down the lip color? No, it doesn't. So that's nice. <laughs> if you can stand the, the stickiness before you put the oil on, you might like it. Final thoughts. I went over the cost of everything in my box and it comes up to a $145. Was it worth $145? I'm not sure, but for paying 30, for sure I got my money's worth. My favorite product is definitely the Danessa Myricks Pink Powder. It truly saved this skin tint. I was not loving the super dewy, shiny finish of this skin tint, but as soon as I added this powder, now my skin looks healthy, hydrated, juicy, smooth. Now I'm liking it. So. I will have to keep you posted on this one. Hopefully it likes other powders as well. <laughs> Otherwise, this is a great combo. I also really like this Laura Geller multitasking eye cheek lip palette. My cheeks do not feel sticky, which I appreciate. It just feels like skin. The eyes, I'm not sure if it will crease and I'm not sure how much I would use it for my eyes unless maybe I'm traveling, but I'm liking the natural soft makeup look that I'm wearing and this definitely contributed to that. Blurring, easy to blend, I like the shades, I like the added shimmer, this is nice. This is right in the middle. I have eye primers that are less expensive that do the same thing if not more, but am I happy to have this? And of course I will keep you posted. And my least favorite is probably the liquid lip. I love liquid lips but some are a little too drying, some are a little too sticky. This one goes in the too sticky category. I like a matte lip and this product would have been so much nicer if when the matte side dried down, you could leave it there. I would love this product if it did that. That way I could use it just like this or if I wanted to have a glow gloss to my lip, I could use them both. Unfortunately, that didn't do this. And for 20 some dollars, how much was this one? 22? There are less expensive formulas that I like more. Will I use this? Do I like this? I'm not sure if I'll use it. I will try and I will keep you posted in my favorites and fails at the end of July. Overall, I am happy with the box. BoxyCharm, you did a good job. If you are interested, as I mentioned before, I'll have everything listed and linked in the description box below. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing before you leave. I would love to have you join me. I upload on Mondays and Saturdays. Give the video a thumbs up, it really helps my channel. And of course, leave me a comment. Let me know you were here. Tell me how your day is going. Do you get BoxyCharm? Was your box different than mine this month? I would love to hear it. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you in the next one.